Well, wrestling is making a comeback, especially right here in Reno, as people of all ages are finding out that it's never too late to pursue your dream. Daniel Channon has more on the PWD. They're a diverse group of people, different ages and sizes, but they all have one common dream, to join the world of professional wrestling. Unfortunately, living in Reno, they had no place to pursue that goal until now. When I was growing up here, I would die for professional wrestling in this town, so I knew that there'd be a lot of people out there like me. Three months ago, Dustin Serrano and his family opened the professional wrestling destination in Reno. In exchange for a $50 processing fee and $150 each month, Serrano, who's been wrestling for more than 10 years, offers up tips five days a week. The ultimate goal for these wrestlers? Getting a fight on one of PWD's cards. One of the best things about this program is that really anyone can do it. You can be a super athlete or an uncoordinated reporter. A classic example of this isn't me, but a 36-year-old man named Marvin Osuna. The youth pastor by day is a wrestler known as Prophet Ezekiel by night. I've always been looking on, you know, searching the internet and trying to find a place that, that would actually have a, a school for wrestlers, and, and uh, we've never had one, so this was like a dream come true. And it's not restricted to guys either. It's like that feeling that it's like really amazing that you finally get something down, so it's really fun. <laughs> for some, the dream of making the pros might be a reach. But that doesn't really matter to this group. The important thing is that they've found something that helps them get one step closer to that dream, wherever it may be. Whether it's to go to Japan or Mexico or just to stay locally in Reno, that's what they want to do and that's what they want to love and that's what we're here, here to supply them today. Daniel Channon, Colo 8 News Now Sports. <laughs> now the PWD will host its next match on November 7th at the Neil Road Recreation Center. And For more information, just go to colotv.com and click on hot topics and I'm not a big WWF guy but I went to the last event it was really really entertaining and, and you can tell they're working on the showmanship right now it's all about showmanship and uh, they got a lot of cool wrestlers the hired gun you got to check that guy out because he's probably the best in town oh sure <laughs> nice. and what a great business idea too yeah and it really you know no one else was going for this market there's a lot of people out there that love WWF that love wrestling there was no one